Late summer is normally a peak time for the world's cargo ships. It's when the world's retailers stock up ahead of the winter holidays shopping rush. That means shops in Europe importing more things like games, garments and electronic gadgets from China, while Chinese shops buy in more luxury items from Europe. This year, however, this trade hasn't kicked off. Shipping lines are struggling to fill their vessels, and that's reflected in slumping prices. The cost of sending a container of goods from Shanghai to Rotterdam in August last year was $1,100. This August, the rate is only $650. We've got a very weak European economy, and that's impacted the demand for uh, goods coming out of China or anywhere else, but particularly consumer goods. Um, there was quite strong demand last year, uh, which was largely due to restocking by retailers and manufacturers in Europe. And we haven't seen that activity this year. All this comes as a shock to the world's shipping lines. 2014 saw strong growth in global freight trade. It rose by 8%. At the start of 2015, they expected the freight trade to expand further by 4%. In fact, world trade has been falling down 3.5% so far in 2015. Many shipping lines decided to invest in new and larger vessels to try and absorb what they thought would be a constantly increasing volume of cargo. That investment has saddled the industry with too much capacity and sent revenues tumbling. Jeremy Howell, BBC News.